Hey, what is going on, guys? In this video today, we're going to be discussing the current state of shotguns in Fortnite. Shotguns have always been a pretty polarizing topic among the Fortnite community, and as I've said before on this channel, I consider close range shotgun fights to basically be the most important fights in all of Fortnite. Therefore, you're going to want these fights to be smooth, balanced, skill based, and have as little RNG involved in them as possible. For a while, this definitely wasn't the case in Fortnite. There were prolonged periods of time where shotgun gameplay in general just felt really odd, and and that was because of a variety of different reasons. But over the past few months, Epic has started to change and tweak a bunch of different things regarding shotguns in Fortnite. Have all of these changes had a positive impact on shotguns in general? Well, that's the question that we'll be attempting to find an answer for. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so let's start this video off by doing an overview of the positives and negatives of shotgun gameplay in Fortnite as it currently stands. To begin on an upbeat note, we'll go over the positives first. I think that the most obvious positive is the fact that, for the most part, shotgun damage actually feels consistent and properly rewarding now. When Double Shotgun was removed from the game at the beginning of Season 5 all the way back in July, Fortnite went through a very long period of not having properly balanced shotguns. For a long time, every shotgun just felt really weak and outclassed by most of the SMGs, then the Double Barrel emerged as being kinda overpowered, then it was eventually vaulted a little later, but during this entire period, the damage of all the other shotguns still felt really inconsistent as a whole. We went about two full seasons with shotguns being more frustrating than anything else. I believe this was in large part due to the fact that Epic had nerfed every shotgun in the game very heavily due to the fact that double shotgun was so popular at the time. So then, when the ability to use two shotguns was removed from the game, it exposed how weak those shotguns were when you were only able to use one of them as opposed to two of them. But that's kinda beside the point here. The important thing to note is that after the shotgun buffs from about a month ago and the introduction of the purple and gold pumps, shotguns finally feel like shotguns again. Well, at least most of them do. I was definitely a bit skeptical of the change that makes it so that even if you hit one pellet, it counts as hitting three, but I'll admit that I was wrong about that. Even if you do only hit one out of ten pellets, pump shotguns should never do eight or eleven damage at point blank range. So that actually actually ended up being a really good change overall. And just so I can point out another thing that I was wrongly over concerned about, the range reduction on all of the pumps ended up barely even being noticeable. That might just be due to the fact that the damage buff covered for the range reduction, but probably not. And I think another big part of how good shotguns feel in this current state is the fact that 200 plus damage pump shotgun headshots are finally back in the game. Those 200 plus damage shots are always a really controversial topic, and I'll admit, getting one pump by a guy who just closes his eyes and hits a miracle headshot is super frustrating. However, those miracle shots should be a very rare thing, and being able to one pump 200 health enemies is a mechanic that mostly rewards highly accurate players that can consistently line up headshots. So in my opinion, because of all those positives, shotguns feel as balanced as they've been in a while, probably since at least the end of Season 4. However, there are still some considerable negatives that also need to be brought up. One thing I really dislike is the fact that the pump shotgun is pretty much the only usable shotgun in the game right now. It really is disappointing to see how the TAC, which was once one of the strongest yet most balanced weapons in all of Fortnite, is now almost totally unusable. There are very few potential Fortnite balance changes that I think players would almost unanimously be in favor of, but I think that a buff to the TAC is something that practically everybody wants. And that buff would have to be a relatively relatively major one that specifically addresses the amount of damage done. I don't think that just a higher headshot multiplier or maybe a slightly smaller pellet spread would be enough on its own to get the tack anywhere near as good as the pump is. I know there are a bunch of people out there who just feel so much more comfortable with a tack because of its faster fire rate, yet those players are basically forced into using the pump because it's just so much better. And the funny thing is, the same thing was beginning to happen with the heavy shotgun as well, that was before it got vaulted a few days ago in patch 7.3. 
Don't get me wrong, the Heavy was definitely considerably better than the TAC, and it actually could somewhat compete with the lower rarity versions of the pump. But the Heavy's biggest problem was that it was simply way too rare for just being a decent little shotgun. Not only was it a purple and gold rarity weapon, but it also couldn't be acquired via floor loot for some totally odd reason that just never really made much sense to me. I thought that unlike the TAC, the Heavy honestly didn't even need a damage buff to be relevant. Although neither Heavy could one-shot 200 health enemies, it had a range, fire rate, and clip size advantage over all of the pumps. What it did need, however, was a rarity reduction. Maybe green and blue, or even blue and purple, and then along with that, allowing it to spawn as floor loot. But Epic ultimately decided to just vault the Heavy instead of making any kind of changes to it, and therefore the pump now has no competition whatsoever. Now, there are people out there that see this as a positive thing for the game. Their viewpoint is basically something along the lines of, if everybody is using the same shotgun, in this case a pump, it makes it so that everyone is basically on a level playing field. And I definitely do understand where these people are coming from with that thought, but I disagree with that line of thinking specifically, and here's the biggest reason why. One of the biggest flaws with the pump shotguns in Fortnite is the fact that the green pump shotgun has different damage thresholds than the other three rarities of the pump shotgun. The green pump does 95 body shot damage at close range, while the blue does 100, purple does 105, and gold does 110. And due to all the pumps having the same 2.0 headshot multiplier, that means that the green pump does 190 close range headshot damage, while the blue does 200, purple does 210, and gold does 220. And your first reaction to hearing that may be, oh, that's just like a 10 to 20 damage difference, that's not a huge deal. But it undoubtedly is a huge deal, because that 10 to 20 damage difference means that the green pump can't one-shot body shot a 100 health enemy, and also can't one-shot headshot a 200 health enemy while all of the other pumps in the game can. not now, the pump shotgun isn't the only weapon in the game where the rarity of the weapon changes the amount of shots it takes to kill players at certain health thresholds. But I don't think there's a single weapon in the entire game where rarity changes the amount of shots required to kill a 100 health player, which is obviously the most common health value in the entire game. For example, every rarity of the scar takes three body shots to kill a 100 health enemy. Every heavy AR takes three, every silent scar takes four, every normal AR takes four, every silenced SMG takes five, and every compact SMG takes five. And those are all fully automatic weapons anyway, so even if it did take one extra body shot to kill a 100 health player, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But with the green pump, especially at the beginning of games where all your fights are going to be super close range and the majority of players have 100 health, it's absolutely game changing. If at the very beginning of a game you find a green pump while your enemy finds a blue pump, you now need to hit double the amount of body shots he does to get a kill. I'm all for the higher rarity versions of a weapon having advantages over the lower rarity versions of that same weapon, but in the case of the green pump versus the rest of them, it's simply too much. So even though in theory it makes sense that everybody using a pump shotgun would decrease the amount of RNG in shotgun fights, that's not really how it currently works. I would much prefer shotguns to operate like the top tier of ARs, where there's three different ARs, the Scar, Silent Scar, and Heavy AR, which are all so close to even that as long as you have any of them, you're in a really good spot. And since those ARs are all unique in their own way, they cater to every possible playstyle you could have. And the final thing that I dislike about the current state of shotguns is the fact that there are a few glitches that can be incredibly annoying to deal with. The biggest example of this is the shotgun not shooting slash ghost shot glitch. This basically happens when you try to shoot too quickly after switching to your shotgun. And it's apparently due to the fact that Fortnite gives the input of switching items priority over shooting for some reason. Another kind of glitchy mechanic is the fact that the shotgun switch delay, which is designed to stop double shotgunning, can still affect you even if you're only using one shotgun. 
One of the most common times you'll run into this is when doing the Tifu Classic. You'll shoot a shot, place a floor under you, then when you go to take another shot, you'll be greeted by the switch timer because you switch from shotgun to building menu and then back to shotgun. So I think that even though shotguns feel as good as they have in a while, they definitely aren't perfect. And I'm hoping that Epic continues to work on making them as balanced as humanly possible. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you watched the entire thing, be sure to let me know with a comment down in the comment section below. I want to know, what are your general thoughts on the current state of shotgun gameplay in Fortnite? Do you think pumps are balanced? Do you want to see the tack get a buff or the heavy get unvaulted? Let me know. Be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do whatever the heck you want, and I will catch you guys next time.